How's it going, everyone? Welcome to nomenclature practice number one. Let's do some OCHEM. So when you see straight chain alkanes, the first thing you're going to want to do is name your parent chain. In these examples, all we have is one straight chain, so you know you can just count the carbons and call this ethane. For the next few examples, we're just going to add a carbon each time because it's important for you to be able to name your straight chain alkanes. This example is propane because we have a total of three carbons. As we progress through the video, please feel free to pause it, give it a try on your own, and then start the video when you're ready. This next one is going to have two, three, and four carbons total, so we know that it's called butane. Let's move on. We're going to add a carbon every single time, two, three, four, and five, giving us pentane. Penta being the suffix for five. Next up, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And when we have six carbons total, we know we have hexane. Our last straight chain example is going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total carbons, giving us heptane. Hepta being the suffix for seven. So now we're going to move on to some cyclic compounds. So when you have a cyclic compound, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to number the amount of carbons, and all we're going to do is add cyclo to the beginning of the name. So in this example, we have three total carbons, making it propane, but since it's cyclic, we're going to call it cyclopropane. Up next, we have two, three, and four. So normally in a straight chain alkane, it would be called butane, but since it's cyclic, as we discussed earlier, we call it cyclobutane. Up next, we have one, two, three, four, and five total carbons, which is normally called pentane, but since it's cyclic, we have cyclopentane. Our last two examples are going to be just like the last three, except we're going to add one more carbon each time. So in this example, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six, giving us cyclohexane. Hexane being a, you know, a six-carbon straight-chain alkane and cyclo for the cyclic compound. Our last example is going to be this eight-carbon cyclic compound. So when we have eight carbons, we call it octane. But since this example is cyclic, we're going to go ahead and call it cyclooctane. That's it for this video, guys. Go ahead and watch nomenclature number two, where we're going to go on to a few harder examples, where we start adding substituents to our chains. Um, for those who have never been to this channel before, my name is Sean Anderson. I'm a medical school applicant this year. Hopefully I will get into medical school and you guys can watch my progression. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos about the progress and getting into medical school as well as a lot of the things I've learned along the way, some advice, and a lot of OCHEM. I feel like the best way to learn OCHEM is to practice. So we're going to get you guys through OCHEM just fine. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good day.